How's it going, Matt? Funny, too, because I probably would have, like, tried it at some point. If I was just trying to figure out what to do against this enemy, I probably would have tried it. Fill your inventory with random garbage. It must do something with the code, like... It must overwrite values, because usually when something really random happens like that, and, like, whenever there's a glitch that can potentially, uh ruin a save file, it's usually, usually has to do with like overriding memory, because otherwise it would never touch your save files, it would just screw up your whatever's going on, but it probably overwrites memory, and it probably overwrites memory with garbage memory, which means like legitimately anything can happen. Well, one thing I can do is I can scan. Scanning makes him appear without healing him, so that's probably a better idea. Let's see if I cast Reflect on him, if maybe... He can't put himself to sleep. That means I can't use any magic. Okay, that's good. That does damage. Oh. <laughs> the reflect did not work. Shouldn't have cast regen on Cyan, he already has it from his ring. The issue is that sometimes he goes to sleep right away and I don't get a chance to hit him. That's the only problem I'm running into. If that didn't happen, I'd be fine. But sometimes he disappears right away and then Cyan attacks and he comes back and then I get hit twice. Maybe the problem is that in power it takes too long because he like waits to use it. Oh, I actually did damage. What the heck? That was weird. I'm on some kind of weird, like this is not where I want to be. I want to be attacking before he disappears, not after. Cyan gets his turn right when he disappears.
Alright. So I need to like... Try a regular fight. Uh, I'm still late. Huh. <laughs> That's probably gonna wake him up. Yikes. I don't think he countered steel, maybe, but like, even before I was stealing, the same thing was happening. He doesn't really counter, he just... He appears for like, a turn and then... Wow, it missed everyone. idea. Do you have scan? No. Alright, I'm going to queue up scan. I'm going to do this. And then as soon as this is done, I'm going to use scan. Nope, he used it right away. What? I don't understand. Uh, he waits, but only when I don't want him to. How's it going, Fox? Try it this way. Defend. Defend. Scan. And then immediately do that. Please work. Thank you. Alright, now we just have to do that 30 more times. Easy, right? I mean, if he does nothing else, this should work. The question is, halfway through the fight, does he use Super Meteor or something? Because <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. in less than 30 hours.
I feel like there's definitely something in my arsenal that does more damage, but I don't want to test it for too long. It seems like all my magic heals him, so... And Runic doesn't work, Reflect doesn't work, Shell doesn't work. Doubt mute works. Maybe if I muted him, he like couldn't put himself back to sleep or something. But I mean, do I really want that? If he stays awake, isn't he just gonna spam meteor? So I might as well let him put himself to sleep. He doesn't heal. I feel like part of the problem is supposed to be that to wake him up, you have to heal him. But scan wakes him up without healing him, so. I do have one other idea that I could try. I might as well, I guess. I have nothing to lose. You can fit so much spaghetti in this bad boy. this. I might have been too late. I do want to see how much damage Locke does, though. Ow. Really? He didn't even get a chance to attack. Cyan somehow died. That's annoying. How are the cats? Cats are good. I actually posted a picture of Nova in the Discord yesterday. She was sitting inside of my son's jumper thing, which she actually does like all the time. She just jumps in there and hangs out. Okay, so... Please work. Please. Thank you. Now let's see if he counters. He did not counter. Oh, he counters after he goes to sleep. Oh, it did a lot of damage. But it woke him up, so yikes. Not what we wanted. Luckily, we healed enough. Like, look at all these turns I'm getting now. I don't understand. It's almost like if you wake him up right away, then you get some turns. Like, after he uses Meteor, if you wake him up right away, but then that's dangerous, so... Alright, so Locke does about the same amount of damage as Cyan does. So it's not really worth doing. Although, I guess he could crit. Another thing I can think about is maybe, like, draining his MP so he can't cast Meteor, but... He has a lot of MP. it would take a while to drain it. Also, I'm not even sure if he's using it.
Yeah, just <laughs> he's using very little MP, so. Eventually win this fight. I kind of want to try stealing from him too, but if I'm gonna do that. I might as well equip the thing that helps stealing. Uh oh, Cyan didn't have his turn up. Gun attack. Dude, Lock does so much damage. Maybe... Try casting this. Just Maybe Meteor does like physical damage. I don't know. Since Reflect doesn't work and Shell doesn't work, maybe... The Instagram girl fight. Great. I really wish Retort worked, but he goes to sleep too fast. Same damage. I I mean I guarantee there's a gimmick for this fight. But I don't know it and this works. quicker to kill him this way than to figure out the gimmick at this point. So far it works, I should say. Oops. The only other thing I'm thinking is maybe like percentage damage works, but I'm not trying to charge up three because two is hard enough to do. It def there definitely doesn't seem to be a way to stop Meteor or stop him putting himself to sleep. I've tried pretty much everything. The only thing I haven't tried is mute, and I really, I really figure he can't be muted. <laughs> like maybe, but I doubt it. I feel like it's a waste of time to even try. Should have a bunch of ethers at this point, right? Maybe. Can I have four. Too bad defending doesn't help. Because I could defend with everyone but Cyan. Yo, thank you for the 856, Bryce. Appreciate it, man. Do we have an Omni Chair? Uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 
Hardened Edition. Everyone loves Call of Duty, right? <laughs> I bet you, yeah, it kind of does look like Diablo from afar. I'm looking at it in my OBS where it's kind of small. Black Ops 3 is still full price on all platforms, and it's like five games ago. Also, the Final Fantasy VII Remake PS5 version is 70 bucks when the original was 60 and it's just an upgraded version of a game that came out last year. What a time to be alive. It does come with the DLC, but yeah, it's not worth 70 bucks. An old game, old game, with DLC isn't worth 70 bucks. Not to mention, it's a game that was given out free on PS Plus, just without the DLC. But they want 70 bucks for... Graphical upgrade plus DLC. What is this, Nintendo? <laughs> Those textures better be perfect if I'm spending 70 bucks. I can't spend any money, so... Yeah, those you guys probably don't know this because we've talked about it on Wednesday. Some of you guys weren't here on Wednesday. Uh, GameStop is doing a special bonus thing where if you pre-order the physical version of the PS5 version, you get a steelbook case. That's it. Uh, so for 70 bucks, you get... For 70 bucks and pre-ordering it, you get a steelbook case in the DLC and the PS5 version. Uh, but I can't buy it. I tried on multiple browsers, multiple credit cards. I tried PayPal. I tried everything. GameStop will not sell it to me. So I was going to buy it to show it to you guys and be like, is this worth 70 bucks? But I can't, I can't buy it. GameStop will not let me. So, I guess I'll just burn the $70, because who needs $70, right? I was, I was trying to waste $70, and GameStop won't let me, so... I guess I'll just buy toys for my kids. Freaking rip. Think of the 200 bits, Sam. Yeah, it's not like I really wanted to give GameStop my money anyways. I would have bought it anywhere else, but apparently it's GameStop only. You can pre-order it on Amazon, but they don't say anything about the Steelbook, so... I don't know. But yeah, I don't know why, but I, I can't buy it. I was both mad and relieved that I couldn't buy it. <laughs> I think the universe was telling me, like, This is a waste of money. Don't buy it. You still want one if it's PAL? Are they selling it in PAL? I think they only sell it... I think it's an... NA thing only, maybe. I know Solid said he couldn't get one.
He's more than halfway dead, boys. You bought one? Alright, well, I guess it's just not available in Ohio. That's it. And this is why Ohio is lame. Rip Ohio. I wonder if I can, like, slow him or something and it'll be up longer. Again, I don't think I want him to be up longer because he'd probably meteor twice. I think this is the safest way to do it. Other than some unforeseen cheese that probably exists. You know another thing I could try? I could try Osmos. But again, like, unless Osmos drains 999 MP, it would take a long time to get all his MP down. Even if it did that much, like, it would take forever. I think I'm winning. I don't know. really it's really anyone's guess at this point I'm trying to remember when we fought him last time didn't I find like a magic that did damage oh we disappeared I got played I feel like we found a magic that worked but I don't want to try it now because every magic I guess that's wrong is going to heal him and this fight's already been long enough. GameStop announced it will have a Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade pre-order bonus which is a special steelbook case for the PS5 game. The company noted that it is a limited item available while supplies last. Yeah, I got it. I tried it right away. Like, people have ordered it since I tried. That's They're not out. Unless they're just out in Ohio or something. If that's... They're only sending them from Ohio. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, I mean, I went on right away. And then, like, multiple people bought it after me. So, I don't know. It's rigged. Please attack. Please. Please. Thank you. But like, the, the message I got from GameStop was we can't save your purchase. Like, it said something about my credit card. It was like, you can't save your info. Like, you got your billing address wrong or something. But... I checked that a million times, I tried different ways to spend, like I tried PayPal and stuff, and like nothing worked, so I don't know. I think it's just glitched for me only. <laughs> Thanks, Mushroom. Would appreciate that. You cut that out. You have to be so fast to get the attack off. Like, it's just got to be right after you scan them. You get no time. I even have to make sure that my other party members' turns aren't up so I can, like, quickly just mash the button. What's up, Sir Cuz? How you doing today, man? I'm not going to GameStop. Who goes to GameStop? I'll walk out with another stupid Mega Man and, like, a Power Up Rewards card or something. 
they'll, they'll somehow get me to buy one. I am disgusted at the idea of going to GameStop. If I want pop figures, I'll go to frickin' FYE, I don't have to go to GameStop. I went to GameStop once to get directions to Best Buy. Yeah, we have FYEs around here. I actually really like the FYE by us. We have a really nice one. It's a great place to go when you don't know what to buy for someone. Yo, Patches! Good to see you, man. Also, Lago with the 13 months. Welcome back, dude. Getting there. The light is at the end of the tunnel. Can't wait to beat this guy and get like one XP and one gold. And a key item that says you beat him. It's pretty crazy how MP sufficient Cure is in this game. Like, holy cow. 5 MP when I have 254 MP on my warrior. Because <laughs> everyone gets a ton of MP no matter what, how good they are at magic. So you can just cure forever in this game. That's why I knew this strat like might actually work, because it's really hard to run out of MP in this game if you cast regular cure. It's just the, the high level black magic that costs a lot. And the summons also cost a lot. How bad do I want that steelbook? I wanted to show it to everyone. I wanted one, for sure. Like, It's definitely not worth the money, but I wanted to get one just for the show. Because I already have the digital version. Like, I bought the digital and physical version of the f game, so I have access to the PS5 version. I just have to buy the DLC. But since I already have to buy the DLC, it's not as much of a waste of money. So yeah, I actually really like it. I'm not gonna go to the ends of the earth to buy it, but if GameStop would let me buy it, I would. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. I accidentally almost blew it. I appreciate the offer, guys. I don't need one, though. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't have to send me one. If, if, if someone, like, actually wants to buy one, just PM me and I'll give you the money. And we'll figure it out. But honestly, we don't need to go through that much of a struggle. It's not a big deal. And I don't want people sending me one because you might accidentally, two people might accidentally send one and then we really wasted our money, so don't do that. D 
the Iron Book Edition. Can I get one made out of Magicite? I tell you what, if you guys don't listen to me and you send me one and I end up getting two, I'll give one away. How about that? And that would be a big deal for whoever got it, because you'd get the physical version of the PS5 version plus the DLC. The $70 for free. That's if you had a PS5, though. <laughs> a truck. A truck shipment. This is where I'd put my PS5. If I had one! <laughs> it's funny you said that. My cousin actually sent me that exact image. It's like, this is where I'd put my PS5. If I had one, he sent me that picture. Well, we learned one thing from this fight. Ronald lasts forever. Yo, Ro, I think about seven months. Welcome back. Ah, oh, no way. How is that not fast enough? Disagree. How's it going, intro? Good to see you, man. You came at a great time. This fight is super epic. The only thing that took longer than this fight is the argument about the clock puzzle. Nah, that was longer. <laughs> that was that was way longer. What are you talking about? We're actually doing. We did a return to Nightmare Mod last week. It's on the Patreon. We're gonna keep doing it. I think every once in a while too. So it was pretty fun. I can tell you what time it isn't. that Celeste can survive. New Threat was a lot of fun. Sony tech support is dumb? I could have told you that. I, I don't think I've ever heard a good story about Sony tech support. I've only heard horror stories. My friend was putting in his disc wrong and thought it had issues and Sony believed him because other people were running into disc trays not working on the PS5. 
so I gave him free money to get some of his games digitally, and my friend later finds out he put the disc in wrong when he went to watch a Blu-ray movie. That reminds me of a uh, story about my printer. <laughs> but, but prepare yourself, because this is a really stupid story. So, <laughs> see you, Vallejo. Have a good weekend. Uh, so, we've always had issues with printer printers at my house, right? Like, just, you all know, printers suck. Like, they all just suck. Like, I don't know why they can't just make a printer that works, because every printer has problems, every printer sucks. But, we had this printer for a really long time, and it just wouldn't print right anymore. Everything had lines, even when I got, like, new ink and did the whole test page and everything. Everything just had lines and looked terrible. So I went to Office Max to get a new printer, and I like I don't, I don't know if I got bamboozled or what, but I just kind of made the decision like you know what I'm just gonna spend a bunch of money on a printer. Like I'm just gonna get a freaking amazing printer, so I just have no more issues hopefully with printers. And it, I, looking back on it, it was probably a mistake because it's just gonna have more problems and cost me more money. But that was my thought. I was like. If I just get a $200 printer, it'll work really nice, and I won't have to worry about it anymore, and it'll be totally worth the 200 bucks, right? So, I buy this $200 printer, and I get it home, and it's incredible. Like, this, this, this printer changed my life. We had a running joke in the house that I was going to marry the printer. That's how much I love this printer. I talked so much about how great this printer was that my wife was like, you should just marry the printer. And I was like, I might. That was like the running joke for like two weeks because this printer was incredible. You just like, I plugged it in. I just said like, print the thing. And it was like, whoop, and it printed it. And there was no issue. I didn't have to install anything. I didn't have to install drivers. Like it was amazing. I never experienced anything like it in my whole life. You could even put in a USB like a flash drive and print stuff off the flash drive and not even have to plug in your computer it was like oh my god this printer is the best thing ever so you know after the honeymoon with the printer we get home two weeks later my wife is using the printer and she goes there's something wrong with the printer it's not working uh you know go fix the printer and I'm like come on there's, there can't be anything wrong with this printer. It's the God printer. Like, you screwed up, obviously. You're just pressing the wrong button. Let me show you how it's done. I just married it. I know exactly how it works. I know all the buttons. You know, I got this figured out. So, I go over to the printer, and it just says it has an error. And it doesn't tell me what the error is. It just says, like, error. So, I'm like, all right, you blew it. So, I just reset it. I just turn it off, unplug it, you know the old turn it off turn it back on and again error just as soon as it turns on error like I can't I don't even get a chance to press a button or like do anything it just immediately errors so yeah then I'm like you obviously sabotaged it because I broke up with you for this printer and you're mad I understand but like it was really expensive why'd you do this I wait a day, I go, like, I just let it sit for the night, wake back up the next day, try it again, still, just error as soon as it turns on. So then I'm like, great. So I call Epson, who, the printer company, and I'm like, yo dudes, my wife broke my printer, can you help me out? And he puts, he, he sends me through all these, like, all the normal stupid steps. Like, did you plug it in? Did you try turning it on? You know, all the stupid, like, Geek Squad stuff. Is it a printer, or are you, is this the toaster? Like, did you make sure it's the printer? Are you trying to print the toaster? I was like, no, it's the printer, it's plugged in. It just says error. So then he, he takes me through like two advanced steps. That's it. He's like, well, open this and try this. And I'm like, that didn't work. And he's like, well, what about this? That didn't work. And immediately he's like, all right, 
we're just gonna send you a new printer for free. And I'm like, how bad are these printers where if it has like one issue, you just send a new one? That that seems that seems a bit suspect, but cool, like sending me a new printer for free, that's fine. But it's this big like it's this big annoying thing because they, they send me this label and I gotta print out the label and they send me a new printer and I gotta take the new printer out, put the old printer in the box that the new printer came in, tape the label, send off the new printer and I or the old printer and I have to do it within seven days or else they charge me for the new one they sent me, right? So it's this whole annoying thing, but you know, I do it. I have them send me the printer, set up the new printer, grab the old printer and as I'm taking the old printer and putting it in the box I notice that there's paper hanging from the bottom of the printer like underneath the printer where there should be no paper ever coming out there's like this half of a sheet of paper just chilling there And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. This was the issue, and I didn't know because the guy wasn't like, well, try flipping over the printer. Like, no one would ask you to do that. Sure enough, and I didn't even, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't even test it. I should have taken the paper out and tested it to see if that was the issue. I took out the piece of paper, put it in the box. I'm gonna be honest. Took out the piece of paper, put it in the box, sent it to him. I guarantee they're going to open it up, see that it works, be like, this guy was an idiot, and then just resell it, and everyone's happy. Because if I had pulled that piece of paper out and it worked, and I called them, it would have been a fiasco. So I was just like, you know what, I'll just send them the working printer. <laughs> and now I got a new printer. But, like, man... <laughs> I was... Yeah... I was a little upset. And I feel like, you know, it wasn't her, I think it was me, because when I first got it, I was trying to figure out where the paper was supposed to go, because there was two trays. There's an underneath tray, and there's a, a tray up top. And I tried the underneath tray first. Oh, it didn't go off in time. And it wasn't working. I put the paper in, and it didn't work. So I took, I thought I took all the paper out and put it in the other one. And then it worked, but I must have missed some paper, and then it must have slowly crept underneath the, as I was opening it and closing it, it must have slowly crept underneath the direct feed and got stuck underneath. And I mean, I opened that tray and didn't see the paper. It had gotten so deep into the printer that it came out the bottom. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to admit more that, like... 99% sure, completely my fault. And the guy on the phone, probably, that was not part of his normal, like, hey, try this, because who would do that? <laughs> but hey, I still really like the printer, and I got a new one, a new fancy new one. So that's cool. You know what would have been even cooler for this fight? I should have brought uh, Old Man and given him the healing staff and he could have just bonked everyone in between every meteor. And then it wouldn't take any MP at all. Except for Scan, which only costs three. Uh, type exclamation mark Fantathon into the chat to learn more about all that intro. You can use points for free to vote.
Alright, so you think he uses, like, Mega Super Ultima when he dies? Or are we actually gonna win? Sorry, did I say exclamation mark? I meant to say exclamation mark. Praise for mercy. Why, why are you telling me what happened? You think I sat here for 45 minutes doing this just for you guys to spoil what he does at the last second? What are you doing, chat? You think I would have sat here for this long? It's <laughs> I could have just Googled it? Why play Final Fantasy VI when I can play Google? Alright, here we go. I think. I don't know if it's one more attack or two. Ah, it's gonna be two. Escape! Oh no. I got memed. <laughs> hey, I learned Osmos. Hey, I learned Rasp. I got memed! I still got magic points though. Is that like what ha- Oh no. This, ah, uh, this is, uh, this is even worse. Like, if I had beat him and only got 10 magic points, at least I could have said, like, okay, now we know. But now I have to do the whole fight again, because I don't know if you can kill him or not. Go. I'm mad. Don't get in my way. Let's do it again, boys. guys, so I'm not doing the fight again. Just wanted to see if I could steal. My guess is that I just need something that deals more damage. So that I can kill him instead of getting him really close to death. God, this steal is insane. I, I don't know if we can get it. 
Also, he's, like, not doing anything. This is weird. Staring contest. <laughs> Well, this is this is awkward. This is active, yeah. Is this steel just not possible on this level, maybe? Because stealing in this game is usually pretty quick. This is really weird that it's not attacking, because before, even if I didn't, even if he didn't counter, he attacked pretty quickly. There must be some weird thing with his AI. Well, I don't think we can get this steal. Is there anything else I want to try just for fun? How about slow? Does slow work? Nope. He still has an attack. How about mute? <laughs> That's the animation for mute? about Berserk. This ain't working, boys. How about Poison? This is probably going to make him counter. What is going on? <laughs> He's broken. Someone fix him. How about sleep? If I sleep him, does he go invisible? Dude, I can't... Nothing works. He's just staring at us menacingly. Can't imagine that works. Turn him into an imp. That'll work, right? Dude, if that worked, I would have cracked up. Well, I tried slash, which is basically demi. I've tried everything at this point. It's 
So if there is a cheese, I don't have it. Unless the game was, like, confused and thought he was invisible, and that's why everything missed. But I ain't trying everything again. <laughs> well, no, because if I would have done like this, he would have... He would have gotten visible. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll come back when I have stronger stuff so I can actually, like, kill him. And maybe have the cheese figured out as well. Yeah, there's 10 magic points. At least we're something. I didn't completely waste my time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, I gotta re-equip my... Sprint shoes. Yeah, so we gotta decide if we wanna do a double day today or not. Because this is a really good spot to stop, because we're going up to the floating continent. But, next week we can't do the double day, because we're doing the remake. So it might be a good idea. Yo, Jows, thank you so much for the 14 months. Just got off work and was able to catch you playing Final Fantasy VI. I'm glad to see you play this masterpiece of an SNES game. VI and Chrono Trigger are the best. Hope you have a great stream and an even better day. Thank you, Giles. I think we got to do a double day just for Giles. He, get, he just, just got off work. Ba -ba -ba. What else did I miss? Kozan gave the gift of sub the Nightbot. Rapsode with 100 bits. Driz with the 1050. Thank you so much, Patches. Thank you for the gift of sub to Oxy. Ruby, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it a lot. I think that's everything. Alright. Uh yeah, let's do uh let's do a double day today. I'm I'm down. I think it'd be fun. Uh but I am gonna go to the bathroom and go get food and stuff, so I'll be back in a few minutes if you need to go do your thing. And then we'll be back with some more Final Fantasy VI action. 